Hello. I'm doing a late night vlog. Well, it's not really late, it's like midnight. But it's late enough. It's like tomorrow already. But um it's when the house is quiet. So I can think. And we have a cat in the house, which we never have a cat in the house. But this cat I feel bad for it, so I put him in the kennel with my pig. And now he's not happy. But it's better than being out in the cold, so he just needs to shut up. Um, we have got so much snow. School had a two hour early dismissal today. And I got my kids out earlier than that because usually if there's a two hour early dismissal, the roads are already bad. And I'm like a freak about that, which I'll talk about in a second. But I want my kids home before I guess to that point. So I picked them up. <clears throat> and uh, I'm on day, oh God, let me see what day it is. Okay, seven, okay, day 14, exactly, since it's midnight. Day 14 of my no carbs diet. <clears throat> Not low carbs. I mean, like, absolutely no carbs whatsoever. I have cheated twice. I don't like to call it cheated. I like to say that I. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong camera. <laughs> I like to say that I, uh. Um. Had a lapse. I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich one night because I just could not stand it anymore. And for some reason, I'm craving peanut butter. I don't know why. Peanut butter is, you know, I could take it. You're not getting out. Peanut butter is, you know, <clears throat> not something I would usually crave, but I am this time. So, uh, I had a sandwich one time and with a glass of milk, which is a no-no when you're doing no carbs. And then, um, that was the beginning, uh, that was week one. And then, like four days ago, I was moving the peanut butter from point A to point B, <clears throat> pretty much to get it out of my face, and I just got a whiff of it. So I took a spoon, and I ate peanut butter on a spoon, but that was my last time I cheated, or lapsed, and uh, I'm over it now. I have no cravings for anything whatsoever. Um, the whole getting your <clears throat> coffee, you know, to taste not like shit was the worst part for me. Because I always used cream, liquid creamer because I, you keep them in the refrigerator and I would use a cold liquid creamer to kind of cool my coffee off so it wasn't piping hot. And with that I got flavoring, you know. Well, you can't do that. So I had to use a powdered carnation, or not carnation, um, I'm a little bit tired, uh, powdered Nestle creamer. That stuff is horrible. Anything powdered is horrible. And um, <clears throat> no more sugar, which I never put sugar in my coffee anyway because the liquid creamer I would put in that was um, flavored would be all I need. I didn't need any, any sugar. But since I have no flavor now, I have to uh, use Splenda, which was a big kick in the ass and it took forever to get used to. But I'm good now. I can deal with it. I finished my first block, box of Splenda and just bought my second box this morning. <clears throat> so it's not that bad, really, once you get used to it. Nothing is bad after you get used to it. You know, so the crabbiness is over. I have no more crabbiness due to the diet because when you first get on the carbs, no carbs thing, you're you know you're bitchy. People look at you the wrong way. You want to bite their heads off. People say something to you. You want to bite their heads off, and sometimes you do. But I'm past that point now. I'm like life is good. So, um. With that said, there are saboteurs in my house. 
you know. So the other day I made the kids peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I purposely made lots of sandwiches. I purposely used more peanut butter than I had to on each sandwich. So it would be gone. And today my husband goes to the grocery store and comes back with this humongous economy size jar of peanut butter. Not only that, he comes home with crackers. He's never purchased these before. Crackers, you know, like sandwiches, crackers. It's like a cracker and something and then a cracker. In between the two crackers on the end was peanut butter and jelly. I didn't even know they had crackers, peanut butter and jelly crackers. Peanut butter and jelly, not just peanut butter. So he bought a case of those. So <clears throat> I'm thinking he's trying to sabotage me, but it's not going to work. And then my daughter comes over and, and kisses me goodnight. And I get this whiff of peanut butter. I'm like, what is that smell? It's driving me nuts. And here she had peanut butter and she purposely put it on her lips before she kissed me. Now tell me that's not some shit. I wiped it off. I told her she was grounded for a week. Well, she's not really grounded, but I just told her she was. That's just wrong. But I'm good. I did not, nope, didn't have any peanut butter. So I just wanted to go over some questions that Van had asked. Um, Timidu66 had asked in a video I just watched of hers today. And I better make it quick because it's already seven minutes. Okay, um, which fear would you like to conquer? This goes back to the whole snow episode. I would like to conquer my fear of driving in the snow or driving on the interstate. I have a major fear of interstate driving for some reason, which is odd because my husband is a truck driver and a good one. He's never had any, I think he's had one moving violation and it was, um, I think it was speeding, but he's been doing it for like almost 20 years. So that's not bad. One thing in 20 years. Um, but, but I never used to have that fear of being on the interstate. I would, I drove, um, three hours every day to get to an academy I was going to back to Cambridge where I live back and forth. It was a three hour complete ride every day and I did it and I was fine. But something happened after I had kids. It's like, no, interstate, no, I can't be on the interstate. So I don't know what that is. It's a mental thing, but it just drives me nuts because I know the interstate is so much faster. Um, which is more important, intelligence or common sense? I would say common sense. Because if you have common sense, you can pretty much make it through life. There are some stupid people out there who are just... They're stupid. Um, well, I mean, I should say that, no, there are intelligent people out there, that are out there who are stupid. So as long as you have common sense, you should be alright. Is it more difficult for you to speak kindly or honestly? Yikes. I would say it's more difficult for me to speak kindly. I'm blunt and that's a bad thing sometimes. If you had to spend one living, one year living in a remote cabin, what would you spend your time doing? I would spend my time watching movies, eating popcorn, and I would have those, the movie theater candy, you know, the snow caps and the sugar daddies and all that stuff. There would be nobody there with me because I don't want anyone talking while I'm watching a movie. And I would get all the movies that I haven't watched or all the movies that I want to watch and I would totally veg out. And I would request a massaging chair. Um, if possible, would you, would you live year round in your favorite season? Yes, I would. My favorite season is fall and I would live there forever. If a clerk mischanged you for an item, would you bring it to her attention? Um, yes, definitely. Because you know why? If you don't, karma will bite your ass. If you rip a teller off a dollar, you will get ripped off ten dollars. Mark my words. Don't rip people off. You know, you're not going out. I should just throw the bitch out, shouldn't I? Okay, I'm done.